Hi, this is Greg Rayburn from Air Magnet, and today we're going to be talking about Snoopy NG. Now, Snoopy is a client server platform uh, created by SensePost, and they've they went ahead and, and made it available on GitHub, uh, so that anyone can actually grab the software and compile it. And so the idea behind it is that uh, Snoopy is, again, like I mentioned, it's a client server. You've got a server platform that's going to collect data, and you've got clients. And these clients can be embedded devices like Raspberry Pi, BeagleBone. Um, it can also be a laptop platform. And so you distribute these clients out into the field. And all of these clients will then talk back to this this uh, this Snoopy server and forward all of the data. It's collected. So as these Snoopy clients are collecting wireless traffic and wireless data and forwarding back to the server, the server can then take that and correlate it. Um, so it's a real powerful tool. Uh, in, in, in the wrong hands, it it can be it can be pretty devastating. So in this demo here, I went ahead and set up running two virtual machines for, for purposes of the demo. It's a little bit easier to, to show the concept behind uh, Snoopy. And so I'm gonna go ahead right now and start the Snoopy server. Now, uh, for a client to properly communicate, again, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna need to have some kind of internet connection back to the server. And so one of the easiest ways to do this is to have a secondary wireless card. So you can have one card for monitoring, one card to do the connection back to the server. And you know, in most cases, you, know, you're, you should be able to find a hotspot network that you can connect to. And those are easy to connect to. Okay, so I've got the, serv the Snoopy server all running now, and it's uh, listening for any connections back, back, uh, back from a client. And in this case, uh, I went ahead and put the put the card into monitor mode, and then now I'm going to go ahead and launch the Snoopy client. Um, now, also to to make a point here, the communication from the client to the server is actually over HTTP, so it's unencrypted. And it's over port 9001, and it's in JSON format. So it's actually fairly easy to look at and see, you know, really what is this uh, client sending back to the uh, server. Okay, so we have the client running, and it is uh, capturing data, capturing uh, traffic. It's gonna, it's gonna look at APs and clients and SSIDs, and it forwards all that data back to the server. And uh, by default, it goes into a SQLite database. Um, you can actually choose other types of databases if you like, uh, but that's the default. Um, and so you can also launch uh, Multigo uh, to do a little bit of visualization on that traffic. So Multigo is a piece of software that can take data and map it out for you and make it a little bit easier to, uh, to visualize. And there are some transforms that are automatically uh, that that uh, Snoopy has for Maltigo. So there's not much, there's not a lot of effort that needs to happen. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at our current database that we're running right now. And so when you run Maltigo, every client looks like a phone. So that's the one thing uh, to to keep in mind that even though it might be a laptop or it might be something else that it's by default that's the default icon so and you can see we've got some clients here and they've got uh, a relationship of SSID so that particular device was probing for all of those SSIDs or could potentially have connected to them and so it's a good way to actually see the relationship and see where these clients are actually connecting to. And so this Samsung device here, you can see the different SSIDs that the it has ever connected to in the past because uh, it's again it's probing for these networks. So, you know, given enough of these Snoopy sensors across a large part of a city, you could in effect track somebody where they go because you know again your your devices are always probing for 
networks that you've ever connected to. Okay, so we go back to the Air Magnet Enterprise console to see the new dynamic thread update alarm that we just released. And you can see some of the details of this alarm being that you know, we can show you the source MAC address, the source IP address, as well as the destination. So the server's MAC address as well as the, uh, the IP address of that remote server. And so a lot of that information is really good in case you want to track down this, this, uh, this attack.